Hello, this is Kiss Blue, and welcome to... Wait for it! A Chocobo Forest! Oh, yeah. I haven't actually... Don't think I've done any more... Pocket Station stuff since last time, but... Uh... Let's see. Nope. Uh, detect. Okay, uh... Wait, actually... Okay. Swap that back. There we go. Uh, which forest am I actually in, though? I am in... One of these forests. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Okay, I'm in this one. I believe I want... No. I, I still want... Is this... Uh... Hmm... This... I feel like this might be too far over... Right, well... So, yeah, uh, that was pretty easy. Ta-da! Yeah! Damn straight. How do we get the item? There's supposed to be an item in this one. I have no idea. None whatsoever. Well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I just wanted to, you know, do that. Now we can now we can start uh now we can start the actual goal of this video. I guess I could have actually ridden that chocobo, but no. We are going here. I thought there was something out here. Oh no, it's here. Here it is. Welcome to Shumi Village. If you wish to go to the village, take the front elevator to the bottom level. There are precious spells at this draw point. You must pay if you wish to draw from it. Yes. For each draw, we charge 5,000 gil in advance. It's not refundable. Uh, yeah, I'll pay. I mean, I have plenty of money, but also... It's Ultima. The power of Ultima! Uh, so yeah, that's what's here. I should probably, like, heal, you know? Uh, whatever. Actually, uh... Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I need to sort through my magic, because Renoa has way too much on her. Uh, but yeah. So, we just got our first bout of Ultima, which is really good. In fact, well, no, 13 is not going to be enough for junctioning. 44 full life is almost as good as 100 cure I got. Yeah. Doesn't really compare. Yet. Actually, it's pretty damn good there. But it's still not as good as Demi. But that's only like 13 of them. Just, just keep that in mind for reference. Anyway... You have been specifically permitted here. Oh, that is, that's really quick. So, uh, yeah, that is, we must be pretty deep, you know? 
Think about how long that elevator took. It has seats in it. That's how deep we are. Hello, and welcome. Specialist is surprised they let you in. Usually only merchants are permitted to come into the village. This is our negotiation table. This is where we exchange materials. Minerals with outside travelers. You mine for minerals? Of course. You think we built a village 323 meters underground just for fun? <laughs> These guys are great. The Shumi. Hmm. This is, um... This is the song that Rain was playing, isn't it? Can you see me? Hold on a sec! <laughs> the snapping. Overcome difficulties with effort and ingenuity. That's the Shumi way. So, will you be spending the night? Yes. Yes, please. Uh, no. I, I wasn't... I wasn't done. I, I need to... Oh! Interesting. Cool. Cool. Is there anything in here? Uh... Okay. I don't need to save. Very interesting. So yeah, uh, this is the Shumi village. Uh, it's sort of... It's sort of like this weird place, you know? I cannot walk past you. It's a Moomba! You guys are so great. Oh, well that's interesting. Y y you see that, right? Hmm. Suspicious. It's a frog. I want to catch the frog. Quina has trained me well, it seems. Aha! Found an old issue of Timber Maniacs! Hello. You're an outsider. Most of us here don't have a good impression of the outside world. But Artisan knows there are some good things about it. Once, Artisan stopped by a hopelessly foul wasteland and met with a wonderful group of people called Artisans. We have the same souls, the Artisans and the Shumis. That alone, the fact that they are, there are people like them in the world outside, makes your world worthy. Since then, the Artisans have had a major influence on my work. Take a look at this, for example. <laughs> you said you were an artisan, right? That is a great honor. Uh, did I? Artisan would like to visit those artisans again someday. <laughs> that is terrific. Hmm. Oh, busy, busy, busy. Is that... Laguna. You know Master Laguna? Well, sort of. This is Laguna Loar. Long ago, a Moomba found this man lying near a village, covered with blood, and carried him to the village. It appeared he had slipped and fallen off a cliff, 
We took care of him until his wounds were healed. If you wish to know more about Master Laguna, you should talk to the Elder. Sculptor insists you go speak to him. Sculptor is sure it will please the Elder. Well, okay. Seems interesting. Excellent. For a foreigner, you have a big heart. I mean, we definitely want to hear more about Laguna, so... Sculptor will tell the Moomba guarding the entrance to let you pass. You know, these Shumi look kind of f s familiar, don't they? Hmm. Good question. Raze? Moomba is one of many final forms we Shumis take. You don't know? Excluding the ones qualified to become elders. All Shumis evolve at a certain stage of our lives. We, be we become what is in our hearts. Often, those who fail to become honorable elders turn into Moombas. The passionate ingenuity in their hearts gives the rise to the red hair. It's common knowledge. Sculptor is surprised you didn't know. Hmm. That's one way to look at it, Irvine. Beast? How dare you call them beasts? Yes. The ones who become elders are remarkable people. But what did you call them again? Beasts! Did you not see their noble features? Their gem-like eyes revealing innocence. Their bright red hair symbolizing passion. Their spectacular hair signifying power. Their soothing, adorable cries. Their mighty hands with incredible strength. Their proud postures demanding respect. Everything about them is great. Uh... Hmm. That might be nice, yeah. Laguna, though. Hmm. Ooh. That, no, I definitely want to draw that. Uh... Did I just run out of space on Renoa? I did! Okay, uh, between this episode and next episode, I'm gonna need to actually sort out the magic situation there. Cozy indeed. Well, okay then. Hmm. I guess, uh, we'll go to the Elder's house. Uh, wait. There we go. You know, though, come to think of it, that might explain how the Moombas in the prison recognized our-ish Laguna? I mean, it just, well... It explains how they would know Laguna, maybe not how they would recognize him in us. Renault's full. And why can I not... Wait, is it Blizzara? It's Blizzaga. With a G. Why can Squall not draw this? Oh. Tell me I have that junctioned. I don't. Hmm. Okay, then, uh, hmm. The more you know. Uh, you wish have a higher strength stat than anyone else. How the hell did that happen? Actually, I have a pretty good idea how that happened. Uh, oh. Okay. But I will say, it is nonetheless pretty uh, unlikely for that to have happened. Uh, what was I doing? Magic. I need to put one of these things off of you. You are enough. Um, hmm. 
Man. Oh, wait. Damn it. Not enough. No. No. Hmm. I don't have that, so let's, uh, let's just, uh, uh, you're at seven as well. Do you have reflect? Yes, you have a hundred. Hmm. I mean, it's gonna end up on Squall anyway, but, man. Okay, fix that. Fix that. Now, we can stop getting distracted at wait. Ish. We can stop getting distracted ish with this and move on to something like, you know, talking to the Elder. We appreciate you your coming forward. Since you have come here, you must know Master Laguna. Thank you for coming. Allow me to talk about Master Laguna for a moment. It was about seventeen years ago when we found him injured on our shores. He was on his way to Esthar to save a girl named Alone. He had been abducted by, or who had been abducted by Esthar soldiers. Interesting. He stayed here for a short while until his injuries healed. During his stay, he tried to teach a Moomba how to speak. Why indeed? He told me that he felt sorry for the Moombas because they didn't know any words. He said that words are useful and precious. Hmm. Well, he was a ju he was a journalist of sorts, so. Okay then. Continuing on, I believe that Moombas don't need to know words because the important things can be communicated without words. Perhaps we don't need words either. Even Master Laguna was not very good with words. His communication skills were horrible but we still understood what he desperately wanted to say, how eager he was to save alone. His eyes, more than his words, told us this. That's all I have to say. Why are you building a statue of him? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. You find this strange, yes? I doubt you will understand. We believe that Master Laguna has a special something. That something is the power to attract people. We still don't know what it is, so we decided to build a statue of him. We felt that we may come to understand why Master Laguna is so special by doing this. <laughs> Interesting. Pleased to meet you. They call me attendant. Please excuse my humble abode. Hmm. Please wait. We would like to present you with a gift since you came all this way. But in Shumi, one must work to earn anything. It, this is our way. I have an idea. Please assist my attendants in the workshop so that I can present you with a gift. Uh, hmm. Okay, then. Please do it at your convenience, although the sooner the better. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll go help out make a statue or something next time! Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!
Thank you.